Thank you. It's a pleasure being here with you. I'll see if I can. Okay, it works. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about what we're doing uh, in the U.S. and Europe. It, our technology is nanotherapy. Uh, what we have is basically iron oxide coated particles that, that uh, stay dispersed in water as we ship them. But once they're injected into human tissue, uh, the surface changes and they uh, basically conjugate and form an implant. And it took us a couple years to convince the FDA that this is not a drug, this is an implant, but they're well on that. And of course, the other technology that was developed uh, back in the late uh, early 2000s was the modified MRR machine where you have the field strength is uh, basically alternated about 50,000 times a second. And so these little particles uh, heat up. And, and the this technology can be used, as I mentioned when we talked last year, as monotherapy for ablation, or it can enhance uh, radiation and chemotherapy, which we uh, do in Europe versus the prostate in the US. Now, right now, we've divided our efforts in terms of Europe. Uh, we have the CE mark, and, and we're basically focusing on treating uh, glial uh, brain tumors. Uh, and in the US, I decided uh, back in, in 2015 that we would uh, focus on uh, basically fo uh, focal therapy for prostate cancer here in the US. Now, we've modified our procedure over the last couple years uh, in Europe, and what we have now is a, a procedure that really works quite well. Uh, we allow the uh, neurosurgeon to uh, essentially, most of the time, they're about 20 cc's, so you have to have a resection. And then the neurosurgeon, before he puts the gauze around the outside surface of the resection cavity, uh, they basically pour our uh, uh, nanoparticles onto the gauze, they ad adhere to the gauze, and then that's implanted uh, around the outside of the, uh, uh, of the cavity. And we then heat to uh, 42 to 45 degrees, it enhances radiation, and it also enhances uh, chemotherapy, which you'll show. Now, we have done a couple of patients where they could not get more irradiation, so we took it to 50 degrees, and of course it ablates like uh, we know from the prostate cancer. Uh, we've had very good results uh, with this. Uh, we've been slowed down a little bit from the pandemic and all the issues in Europe, but we end up uh, having a significantly improved overall survival when we combine this with chemotherapy uh, versus chemotherapy alone. We will be bringing this to the U.S. in 2023. Uh, there's a number of patients uh, in the U.S. that can benefit from this. In fact, the U.S., there's about 17,000 patients with glio uh, that are diagnosed each year. So that's Part of what we're doing now to prostate cancer, uh, our target here is to uh, basically once prostate cancer is identified either with an MRI or with a uh, basically a PSA uh, elevation, uh, they, they do a biopsy and they confirm that it's a uh, uh, basically it's a uh, uh, intermediate risk prostate cancer. So what we are doing is treating about four cc's of uh, a volume in the prostate. And in stage one, we solved all the problems that we had to in terms of how do we get the material to stay in the injected area. We had to thicken it up so it doesn't flow out. But uh, now we're in, into stage two. Uh, and in stage 2A, where we essentially um, showed the FDA that we could uh, very accurately place this, uh, uh, these particles in the designated uh, CTV clinical target volume. And we did uh, biopsies to show that we totally ablated within that area. And interestingly, because of the perfusion in the, in the human uh, biopsy, we had no damage uh, more than one or two millimeters outside the, the uh, 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 basically the deposit. So that was better than we have seen with uh, our other dog work uh, or uh, uh, other types of studies. Uh, but we basically had total ablation. Uh, we essentially had no side effects because you're, you're dealing only from the inside out and you're only dealing with uh, 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 temperatures. What we found is we could ablate in 45 minutes at 46 degrees or if we, our target is 46 to 50, uh, we, we of course monitor the temperature during the time so we know exactly what the temperature the temperature is. So if we get to 50 degrees, it only takes about 12 minutes to uh, basically ablate the cancer. So we, we essentially have something now that we convince the FDA that we don't need to go above uh, 46 to 50 degrees, and that's our target. And obviously, uh, at that area, and with all the heating from the inside, we had no, uh, no side effects. Uh, 
Uh, in fact, our patients went out for dinner with their wives afterwards and then went home. Now, we see this as a bridge between active surveillance and uh, definitive therapy such as surgery. We did get the approval uh, to move forward to the final clinical protocol uh, in November, and, and basically uh, it was very important to us that it took us a while to uh, deal this, with the FDA uh, on this because we wanted to make sure whatever we're doing for the final stage of the clinical trial is exactly equal to uh, what we're going to do commercially. We have been able to receive AM, uh, uh, AMA approval for our category code, so we'll be filing for uh, basically for a category uh, three code, CPT code, and we, this, this approval allows us now to, to also uh, go for Medicare coverage for the rest of the study. So we're expecting to get most of these done here in 2022. And as far as the procedure and, and what we've done, we've decided basically last year and the year before, we decided to have our own clinic, just like I did in dialysis, where we, the patients come and they're treated, but it's our staff that does the treating. So we have our own clinic now, three of them, and we basically use some of the technology that came on the market in 2018 for a reverse biopsy. We have a, a CT machine, a portable machine in these clinics so that we can, at the, uh, during the installation, we can make sure we know the concentration uh, is uh, sufficient for ablation at uh, 45 to uh, 46 to 50 degrees. And we basically uh, know that we've covered the clinical target volume, the CTV. So we look at that uh, with, an, with, a, uh, uh, with a CT scan and, and basically uh, when we meet those criteria, then one hour later, we uh, basically treat the patient in our uh, activator. We decided to stay with the large activator. It's expensive, but it allows us to treat any part of the body, and, and we'll use this for treating uh, glio also we'll, uh, with our new procedure, nanopaste procedure. So this is a very, uh, a very useful type of, uh, of uh, facility. Uh, they're owned by uh, Magforce US owns it. And, and it's our staff that's doing the work. And, and basically what we've seen is we'll have enough of these. We have three now, we'll two, two more out in, in 2022, early 23. But the patient comes there and, and basically comes in the night before and they're treated the next day and they can go home or they can stay one more day. But it's easier for us and of course they go back to the urologist so the patients are not being taken away from, uh, from their urologist, they're being basically saved a, a large number of, of side effects. The market's uh, very large, as, uh, as you could expect, uh, basically, uh, in the U.S. And so we're very pleased. This is, we've basically got everything pretty much together now, technically. Uh, we're working on the reimbursement, and uh, we'll uh, be on the market in, in 23, 2023. And thank you very much. This is uh, data on Magforce AG which is the uh, owner of uh, Magforce US about 65%. I own about 20 and the rest are uh, US investors and I'm CEO of that company also, which is doing the, the, the work in uh, Glio. And I think I made by nine minutes. Yep, okay, thank you very much. <laughs>